Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I really appreciate you clicking in. If you're returning, welcome back as well. I love you guys so much. Um, I have not posted in a while, and for that, I apologize. I have been moving. I am in my new house. You can see behind me. Um, but today, the purpose of my video is to share my skincare routine. I've had several of you guys reach out to me through Instagram add me on Instagram at Lex.Ferrante right up here and ask me to share an updated one. So I shared a skincare routine several months back, but it has changed since then. Um, and as I share products on Instagram, a lot of people reach out and ask me to share my whole routine. So that's what today's video is going to be. Before we dive right into that, make sure that you are subscribed, hit that uh, notification button, the bell, so you are notified when I do upload a new video because now that I move into my new house, I'm gonna be sharing videos a lot more consistently. I post every Saturday, um, and I'm really excited to do a home tour one with you guys uh, once my home is fully decorated and I'm fully unpacked. So without further ado, let's dive right into the video, but first, coffee. So while I wait for the coffee machine to heat up, I do always like to drink a glass of water right when I wake up. Um, I did literally just crawl out of bed and put on a workout outfit. So I like to chug some water before I drink my coffee. Always hydrate before coffee. Yes, how cute is my little coffee and tea area? My friend Mallory had helped me set it up. I had um, a lady recommend that I put my teas in like a cute little basket display. So I found this basket at Goodwill randomly for a dollar. Yeah, dollar make you holla. And then my friend Mallory came and organized it. She is so cute and good at all of that. So right now in my coffee, I'm just using the Coffee Mate Almond Milk Vanilla Creamer. Just put a little bit of that. And this is something that I absolutely swear by. I've posted about it before. I've uh, shared it on my Instagram. I love this product, Girl in the Sea Marine Collagen. I swear by it. It has immensely helped my skin and hair. Um, it's, it's also very affordable as well. Um, and it's marine based. That's, so that is one of my favorite things about it is most collagens are uh, beef or whey based and this one is marine based. And it is my last and final scoop so I'm waiting on my new order to come in. If you want to give it a try, use my promo code at SAVE3LEX and you'll save $3 off your purchase. I'll link the, the website down in the description below. Now I take my coffee and my water. My water's under my arm. I can't carry camera and water at the same time. Back to the bedroom to get ready. Good morning. Welcome to my master bathroom. So um, the morning routine is actually pretty simple. I don't like to do a whole lot. Most of my routine is actually done at night. Um, so I really just wash my face with water, lightly dry it off, and then use a couple products. So I'll show you what those are. So I only wash my face with water in the morning because I found that when I use a cleanser at both morning and night, I tend to get pretty dry. I have pretty I would say I'm more on the oily side, so when I use a lot of products that strip those natural oils, I get you know kind of dry around my nose, around my mouth, especially in colder weather. So I just use water in the morning and then moisturize, and my deep cleaning is done at night. Immediately after washing, um, sometimes when my skin is still even a little damp, I will apply this Leilani Brightening Serum. Um, Leilani is based out of Hawaii. I really, really love their products. They're just 
fresh, natural ingredients. They smell wonderful. This one is like their vitamin C serum. So I love vitamin C for brightening. Um, and yeah, so I just use one little pump of it, just tiny little pump, and apply it all over. Then next, I just apply a sunscreen. So right now I'm just using the Neutrogena Age Shield one. Um, it's SPF 110. I don't think that's necessary. Uh, it's more important that you're reapplying your sunscreen regularly as opposed to what the SPF is. That is just one that I have laying around, but always, always, always wear sunscreen. If you could take away anything from this video is to put sunscreen on every single day on your face, your neck, and especially your chest. And I always do the top of my hands as well because a lot of times when you're driving, your hands are up on the wheel and they're just getting beat by the sun. And those areas show age really quickly. So that is it for my daytime routine. It's very, very simple. If I'm not meeting a client or you know going out and doing a special event or something like that, I don't put makeup on. I just throw on some mascara and go out like this. Um, it's honestly taken me years to be able to do that. I was always the girl that had to put on at least a CC cream or some sort of light foundation uh, before I walked out the door. But now I take such good care of my skin that I feel confident enough going outside without makeup. So um, implement a good skincare routine, stay hydrated, you know, add supplements like a, a collagen, uh, things like that, and your skin will get to the point where you don't need to wear foundation. So if you don't have to that day, if you're not seeing a lot of people, you're just running errands or you know, doing chores or going to school or whatever you are in uh, your career or your life, give your skin a break. Don't put makeup on every day because it's just so heavy, it clogs your pores. Give it some time to breathe. All right, ow, I got my butt on the door. I am all dressed and ready to head out. See, just mascara, no makeup. Um, today I'm gonna be going to the office for a little bit then going to a hike. Um, so I'm going to be applying sunscreen all over. Um, make sure you're always applying sunscreen if you are going to be outdoors. And I will check in this evening for my nighttime skincare routine. One time I was out here running and someone mentioned So here is my nighttime routine. Uh, first off, I'm going to be putting my hair up. Normally I wash my face while I'm in the shower, um, but obviously I'm not going to get in the shower for the purpose of this video. But my daily cleanser is made by Soko Botanicals. It's their citrus gem right here. I absolutely love it. It's mandarin and vanilla scented. Um, Soko Botanicals is one of my favorite skincare lines. They're based out of Austin, Texas. They're all cruelty free, natural ingredients. They're a really awesome company, but it's very fresh. It's very light. Um, and it has a lot of natural enzymes in it that exfoliate my skin. So I start by washing with that with my Clarisonic Mia. So I actually forgot to mention that I use a makeup eraser cloth. It's a microfiber cloth. I use that just dampened with water to remove my eye makeup first. Every other day or so, I like to do an extra exfoliation. I'm obsessed with the Soko Botanicals Black Lava Scrub. It smells so yummy. It smells like almond, it is sweet, it is gentle, um, but it's like black charcoal. So it's actually a dark charcoal. Um, it's a gentle exfoliant, it's soft on my skin. So I use that like two to three times a week. So what I love about this product is that it doubles as a mask too. So you use it as an exfoliate, um, you just rub it in like you would a normal scrub and then you let it sit for a few minutes after exfoliating and it's going to uh, detoxify and moisturize. 
Okay, I'm all dry. Next up, I start with a hyaluronic acid serum. Um, I'm using one right now by Youth Skincare. Um, I really like them. They're very affordable. They're very good quality products. I love them as well. Um, so I just use a couple pumps of that. So hyaluronic acid is awesome for uh, moisturizing. It actually makes your skin retain more water or moisture and helps you absorb your products more. So I always start with a hyaluronic acid. Immediately following a hyaluronic acid serum, I use a spray toner. So I like to spray my toner as opposed to putting them on a cotton ball. I feel like you lose a lot of moisture and waste a lot of product when you're using a cotton ball. Um, and when I spray it, it just goes right over and I feel like it absorbs nicer. Next up is a serum. I'm using a balancing serum from Leilani Skincare. They're based out of Hawaii. Um, they're all also very natural, very fresh ingredients. Um, I just use their champagne serum. So it's for balancing. I use one squirt, just like the one I used this morning. You probably saw my Instagram post. Actually, I think I posted about most of these products, but this is a recent one that I posted about. It's also by Youth uh, Skincare. I've been making a genuine effort to start taking better care of my neck and my chest. So this cream is specifically for neck and chest. It's actually called their Neck Firming Cream. It's a green tea, a vitamin C, all kinds of nice products. So I just take a little bit of that and I put it just on my neck and chest. Now I come in with an eye gel. Right now I'm currently using one by PCA Skin. It is their Ideal Complex Revitalizing Eye Gel. Um, I kind of just go through a lot of eye gels. I like this one. I'm not uh, really attached to any of them. And I just gently put that under my eyes. My final step for my face is also from Leilani Skincare. It is their Bless Beauty Balm. I love this stuff. It's kind of strange consistency. Like when I first got it, I was kind of like, that looks like chapstick. It doesn't look like <laughs> something you would put on your face. So it's actually really rich and super moisturizing. So I only take a tiny amount, like, like just what covers my fingernail. And then when you put it in your palm, it starts to melt and it's actually um, you know, easy to apply on your face. But it's so rich, so moisturizing. Um, I probably will stop using it as it gets warmer. It's something I love to use during the winter time because I tend to get really dry like around my nose and around my mouth and chin during the cold months. Um, but now that it's warming up, I, I might have to take it off of my routine. But for right now, I'm still loving it. Okay, one of the last things is eyelash serum. Right now I'm using Grande Lash MD. I've actually made a video about this product before. I'll link it right up above. But I genuinely feel it has made a huge difference in my eyelashes. Um, I've, they've grown a lot, they're a lot stronger. I get complimented on them all the time and it's a really affordable product compared to other things like a, like a Latisse or like the Rodan Infield Lash Boost, which I'm not boosting any of those. I think those are both great as well, but this one is a lot more affordable. So to apply, all I do is just paint a little strip just right on my lash line, just on the upper one. So that is my daily skincare routine. I hope it was helpful for you. Hopefully you learned something or found a new product you wanna give a try because that's what I wanna do is provide value to you guys. Make sure that you are subscribed, hit that bell notification so you could be notified when I do upload a new one. I know I have not been very consistent because I have been moving, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, but now that I'm in my new house, I'm gonna be consistent again. I'll be uploading every Saturday. So hit that bell so you're notified when I do upload a new one. I can't wait to share a uh, home tour video with you guys. As soon as I'm unpacked and decorated, I'll be sharing that with you. Also, join me on Instagram at lex.ferrante. I share lots of pics and stories on there daily. I appreciate you watching. I will catch you soon.